Welcome to another video. In this current lesson, we're going to be learning about momentum. What is momentum? How can you calculate momentum? What is the formula, units, solve the example, all that kind of stuff that you need to know in order to control, dominate the concept. Feel free to smash and subscribe to the channel for the latest educational and professional updates that will surely transform your educational and professional journey. So let's jump right to it. So the first question that we need to ask ourselves is, what is momentum? What is momentum? Now, by definition, momentum equals to the product of the mass and the velocity of an object. Now, what does that mean? Think about it this way. If you do have a box or a car, let's say, and the car has a specific mass, and the car is moving with a specific velocity, let's say, towards the right, with the velocity v. Now, if you do have a wall, can you think of the relationship between how fast and how big is the car and the damage that will happen when it hits the wall? Logically speaking, the faster the car is moving or the heavier the car is, the more damage will happen to the car as it collides with the wall. Another way to look at it, momentum is how difficult it is to stop a moving object. If you have a friend of yours and he's running towards you, for example, this is example number one, and this is example number two. If you do have a friend, let's say a small person, let's say thin, um, is a, with a mass of about 30 kilograms, for example, and he's running towards you. That's you. He's running towards you with the velocity V, let's say, 3 meters per second, and then you're trying to stop your friend. Well, because his mass is quite small, and he's running with a small velocity, you wouldn't be having a hard time stopping your friend, right? But let's say you have a friend with a mass of 120 kilograms, and he's running towards you with 10 meters per second, and you're going to stand in front of your friend and going to try to stop him. Do you think you're going to have an easy job doing so? Of course not. So the difference lies in the momentum which is how difficult it is or how easy it is to stop a moving object. And momentum is basically the product of the mass and the velocity. The mass is going to be measured in kilograms. The mass in kgs. The velocity in meters per second. So we're going to be multiplying both of them to get the momentum. Now momentum will be giving it the letter P equals to the mass with the letter M multiplied by the velocity with the letter V where we end up having the formula momentum equals to m multiplied by v. This is the formula for momentum, which clearly represents the relationship between the mass and the velocity, where the momentum is measured in kilograms meter per second, the mass is in kilograms, and the velocity is in meters Per second. Now the best way to go about this is through an example. 
Example number one. Consider having a car which is moving with a hundred meters per second and the car has a mass of 20 kilograms. Calculate the momentum. Now the first thing that you need to do when you, whenever you're encountering any physics problem or any engineering problem in general, always take a look at the statement, always take a look at the problem, and then you're going to be writing down what is known and what is unknown to you in order to be able to solve the problem. So what is known to us? The velocity, which is V, 100 meters per second, the mass, which is 20 kilograms. These are my knowns within the problem. And what are we trying to find? The momentum, correct? So this is the unknown, P which is basically a question mark. We're trying to find it. Now, the second step would be to connect the knowns that you have in order to solve for the unknown. And is there a way to do this connection? Yes, we have a formula for that. Where momentum equals to the mass multiplied by the velocity. Momentum of the car equals to the mass of the car, which is going to be 20 kilograms in this case multiplied by the velocity of the car, which is 100 meters per second, correct? 20 multiplied by 100 equals to 2,000 kilograms meter per second. This is basically the momentum of the car. Now I'm going to give you a practice problem that you're going to be doing, and you're going to be sharing your answers. You're going to be writing them down in order to help you compare your answers and your findings with the rest of the community and the students who are quite on board with this lesson and trying to figure out the problem as well. So, this is going to be the practice problem that you need to do in order to help you practice for this concept. Practice problem. A boy is running with four meters per second and has a mass of 20 kilograms. What is the momentum? of the boy. Now go ahead and have a couple of minutes to solve the problem and then write down your answers. Make sure that you follow the steps. Take a look at the problem. Read the statement quite carefully. Make sure that you understand what's given to you and what you're trying to find and what is the formula that you're going to be using in order to help you calculate what is required out of the problem. Thank you for watching the video and I truly hope that you found the lesson beneficial. If you did, feel free to subscribe and smash that like button and join our community. Also keep an eye on the course description below because every now and then we'll be shooting some coupons and premium access to courses on our Elite Academy. I'll see you in the next class.